up and see we're here on a beautiful day. It looks like there's a lot of people, so really excited. It's our first time doing this. Mike Amadio, Middletown. Mike Sitko, Middletown. Okay. How many times have you done this race? Uh, this is my 36th year. Seven for me, I believe. This is like my fifth time. This is my second time. How many times have you done this race? Nine. Too many to count. Oh. <laughs> My partners in Crystal Run Healthcare, I want to welcome all the runners to this really great event, 37th running of the Classic 10K. Wish everybody good luck. Want to echo the sentiments, thank the volunteers. They do uh, so much to uh, help us run a safe and great race. I want to thank law enforcement for traffic control and our great race committee for always putting on such a premier event. So good luck everybody. Run hard, run fast. Well, thanks. This is great. Back again. Who would have thought? Uh, for those of you unaware of it, this is where I went to junior high school and started to run to when I was when I was very very young and found out that I loved to run. And the first race, they invited me to come. And then a month before the race, they said, "Oh, by the way, we invited Bill Rogers, who at the time was the number one road racer in the world." So the next year, and I managed to win that. The next year, they invited me, and I said, "Is Bill coming?" And they said uh, no, so a month before they called up and it was Rod Dixon, who then was the number one road racer in the world and won the New York City Marathon that fall. Well, fortunately it was in August, so I managed to win that race. And after that, at the awards, I said, that's it, I'm done. I'm done trying to win this thing. And today is going to be, for me, a true celebration of the route, to just visualize what it used to be like, what it was in the interim, and what it's going to be like in the future.